Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the build. Happy when Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Today, we're gonna get into it pretty quick here. Uh, Jack and I are gonna start installing the uh, the caps that go between the two roof pitches. So we have the lower roof, and then we have the upper roof. And between the two pieces, there is a uh, an angled piece of steel there that goes on top of the lower roof and underneath the upper roof. So essentially we're getting ready to install the upper roof. We've got to put this transition piece on first before we can go to the top roof. We have a few of these panels left that go down here on this lower section of roof. And we'll get to that when uh, Donovan gets here. He is out picking up the, uh, the foam that's going to go down on the floor for our insulated slab this morning. So Jack and I are getting started on this because uh, this is a nice two-person job that needs to happen and that we can, uh, we can accomplish. So we're going to try and set them here from the inside. That is kind of the biggest or more, most difficult part of this process is getting access to those points right up along in here. But we should be able to get the lift up in there at least close enough that we can work from the inside and reach out around top versus trying to have to come on the outside and somehow be at the very top of that uh, peak there installing these caps. And this is what that cap piece looks like. It's uh, it's upside down, obviously, but this piece here will lay down onto the uh, the purlins, and this whole section here is going to lay down onto the lower roof we just installed. So something more like that. This is on top, and this rolls down the face of that lower roof. So up here we have some uh, wind blocking foam again. It's going to go on first. That's going to go underneath the cap. That just sits down there like that, and this is where the the, uh, the screw flange will land. So as we're screwing that uh, flange down, this will compress and get a nice tight seal, so you don't have wind and things coming up underneath the, uh, the roof area there, underneath that cap. Okay, progress report. We're getting towards the end. Almost. <laughs> Still three more bays to go. We're putting our foam in the last, the second to last bay right now. We'll hop back and install the cap in the third bay. Come back again. There's a little bit of back and forth with this. Good thing we have a good driver. This is definitely the most awkward task that I have tried to film for us. But I'm not doing a good job of it. <laughs> Hopefully the camera on the ground can see something. I can barely see anything. Back to me a little bit. Can you come back to me at all? Yeah, anything. Right around there? Yep. And that's the day! <laughs> that took uh that took an absorbingly long time to do. A lot of driving around and finessing and tweaking and whatnot. So we're gonna roll this one into tomorrow. We got that that cap is up there now, so that's completely checked out the list. <laughs> so tomorrow uh, we are going to do a couple of things. Primarily, we're gonna be focusing down here on the ground. We have the final grading happening on Friday. That's two days from now. So we need to put our final little uh, support boards on there. So we've got these 2x6s, which will get uh, attached to these 2x8s, so they come down here. That's going to allow us a place to support some foam, so we'll have insulated slab on the bottom and up the sides. 
So we'll have some foam on here and then we'll have foam on the floor. So that'll support the foam going down the side of the slab. So we need to get that all in here before they come in and do the final grading. So we gotta get that finished up. These ones are easy. Those ones, the grade has to come down a little bit to get those boards in there. So a little bit of that tomorrow and probably some smaller things. It's gonna be windy. Or it's supposed to be windy, so probably not going to be doing any uh, steel tomorrow, but you never know. Might get a few pieces up, but we'll see in the morning. Good morning, everyone. A little different change of plan today. So our uh, concrete guys are here today instead of tomorrow. Today works a little better for them, which is which is fine, because today is not, it's not a good day to be doing like any kind of roof or steel work or whatever. So not a big deal. So we got Zach and Jared back again doing that so they're gonna start on the floor uh, Lori is here as well giving us a hand today too so we are gonna be doing a lot of floor prep today so they are doing their final grade in here I got the skid steer in there doing that and I'm working on doing this grade board detail today so again we'll have another board on here and that's gonna give a backer for thermal break since we're doing a fully insulated slab We'll also have foam up the side a little bit to um, insulate the side of the slab so you don't have heat loss out the side of the building along the floor either. So that's, uh, that's what I'm working on this morning. So as we're making some progress here, here is the kind of the layout for the thermal break. So we have that foam in here and we have some pieces that go kind of up in here too, but this will allow or prevent heat from escaping out the slab, out the wall. So that's uh, our little setup there. They are coming in with some uh, base material so they can grade this, get it compacted and get that nice and ready for the foam, which is gonna lay down on the floor in here and provide our insulation. So, Jared's running back and forth with the dump truck, picking up base material, and Zach's been spreading it and leveling it, and then I'll come back because I got the laser sitting here in the window, and they'll check it and dial it in from there.
So we got all of our wall panels here onto our little uh, table. This is a little stop block so we can butt them all together so they're only some flush on the end. And now we're going to go ahead and pre-drill all the holes for all the screws. And uh, <laughs> doing it that way is uh, super nice, but you only get one shot at it. So if you screw up here, you kind of screw up all the panels. So we uh, checked many times to make sure our screw layout was going to be right on. We even made this little story pole. When we took this uh, stick over to the building, marked exactly where all the girts are, the centers of them all, so we know exactly where all the holes need to be. Because, like I was saying to the people, you got one shot at drilling all these holes. If you drill them, it looks like shot. You, you drill in the wrong spot. That's it. On all of them. On all of them. <laughs> it's not like you put a hole in the wrong spot on one panel. It's all of them. <laughs> uh, so again, we'll have uh, four screws in each panel and we'll go ahead and drill out drill through the whole stack so we have all our holes there that way we can go on to the building really quick that's the wrong side you want the hole here on this channel right because this, is, this yes. is the lap side yes i got this So I think I was up in the lift when uh, when Donovan did this on the front of the building, but the bottom gets this kind of uh, base channel trim piece, which the panels will then kind of rest on. And we're using the laser to set that at the same height as the uh, the other side of the building. Think. Go your go that way at the top again. More, more, more. All right, go ahead and put a tack in there again. Do all four of those. Bro. Yep. Is that missing? Huh? Oh, is that no? Oh, okay. I, I just, just had that much stuff in. This is how it's supposed to go? This is how it's supposed to go. <laughs> We're finally doing something.
Is that four panels? I don't know. I don't know. There you should. Around the corner is more yeah. of this stuff. Yep. So that is what the uh, that bottom channel is that the uh, panels rest on. Channel. Ugh. There. Still good? We're good. Okay. We did something. So it's kind of scary, like once you actually get going with things, how quickly uh, something happens. So that's like uh, 15 minutes <laughs> compared to like yesterday where it took us the entire day to install that ridge cap piece on both sides. It's kind of scary. Like this is much more substantial progress than that is. And that took all day. It's, it's ridiculous. So the guys are gonna be back tomorrow to finish up the prep work in here. They have one more load of uh, base material to bring in to bring this area up here. And then they'll do their final leveling, which we'll see tomorrow. But uh, just having all the excess stuff out of here and having the floor kind of flattish really transforms the space. And you start to feel like, oh, it's actually like a big old building thing now. You start to actually feel it's starting to feel real, which is kind of a fun and, and weird feeling. So we'll pick up with this tomorrow because the last few days haven't been really all that. Uh, it hasn't been a whole lot the last few days, un unfortunately. Certainly not on purpose. <laughs> That's for sure. So I'll see you tomorrow. We should have a pretty uh, productive day tomorrow with wall tin and uh, floor prep. Yeah. Good morning. Happy Friday. 40 degrees, nice and nice and cold. Ugh. Jack and I are gonna get started uh, continuing on with this wall. Zach is in here starting to do the final grade, get the, the uh, base material compacted. Jared's out getting another load of base material. And I'm thinking maybe we'll have a productive day today. Let's let's go with that. Productivity day. Here we go. Looking like a building. Less see-through now. Much less see-through. Every time, that thing is so loud. Yep, starting to feel like a room now.
Hello. Hello. Just checking up. All right, that's 45 minutes. <laughs> It's, it's scary how fast things go and things just actually work. So um, I think between yesterday and putting those few first few panels on and this, that's an hour. That's that's how it should be. Okay, next thing on the list is to finish this section of roof right here. And then what? Then what? I don't know. And then lunchtime, maybe? Okay, we got some foam. Jack and Lori are putting down the vapor barrier and then they're gonna start laying some foam down. For a little bit, because it's almost lunchtime. We changed our mind. We'll do the, the roof after lunch. We got a half hour. Here. Yeah, we have a thing that does What's stuff. That? What, is, what is that thing? It's a thing just for this exact purpose. Really? I know, I know. Hard to believe. So remember all that topsoil we had dumped in the back? Well. It's back. <laughs> We're using it over here now to kind of grade that hill a little better. Bring grade up more to the bottom of where the slab's gonna be. So while we're doing that, we just had lunch. They're in our way. <laughs> <laughs> so we were gonna put these panels up, but until they're done back there, back to laying down some more uh, foam panels. I forgot the kids were playing in that pile of dirt back there. <laughs> Captain Barnacle. Oh my god! So I, I forgot that the kids like to leave their toys places. And this pile of dirt back there was something that they were playing in. So oh, funny. I guarantee you that there's a lot Some more of this. More stuff? Yes. Oh, Just buried now.
Okay. Good? Yep. Hang on. Okay, we got a little parcel piece here to go. And that's it for this roof section. Donovan's cutting that right now. We get it tacked up and all right, put up, and that's that's it for this whole section of 12 and a half, 12, 46 degree roof slope. Okay, so um, got it. Oh, you need to get up there. So now we're getting ready to start on prepping the panels for the, the end walls. So we have uh, this pallet here. They are all pre-cut to whatever length they need. But as you can see, they have a square top and they got to go up into our angles here. So we do have to cut the angle onto the top of the sheet. We do have the plans that show us where everything should be. So it tells us which piece should go where on the building. This one's easy. This one's a little different because we talked about this before we modified this plan. That 10 by 10 door on the plan is now a 14 by 12. So we have to make a few modifications to our panels on the end here, which uh, isn't a big deal. Just got to make sure we actually modify the correct panels. So these 311 inch long panels to the left and right of the door will get cut. And then these 204 above the door will get cut as well. So. Those four panels need to get modified and then all of them, of course, need the angles cut on the tops to match the, uh, the roof shape of the building. We have extra ones and we're maybe short one. So uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. The ones we set over there are extras maybe? I don't know. Okay, we're starting back here with this end wall from that corner. We have our sheets stacked, at least the first few of them stacked and ready to go. We're pre-drilling these screw holes locations again. We made a uh, story pole, which has the location of all the girts. So we have this, we can check against the actual building to make sure everything is exactly where it needs to be because you don't want to drill the holes in the wrong place because you can't undo the holes. These also need to get cut again to the angles. And then the first piece actually starts at the end of the soffit. So that first piece needs to have this one foot section here, chunk removed, leave this little corner and then comes up in here. So that first piece is kind of goofy and then it should be just the top cut in theory. <laughs> the theory. If everything goes according to the plan, that's how it should work. What beats a 
pizza pie. It's a pizza pie. Get our piece fit, so now we're gonna cut this notch. By we, I mean this guy. And then we're gonna measure that point. And that's gonna be our number for the next time. Yes, it is. God, you're smart. Some days I wake up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> Just flop out. So we use an angle gauge to pick the angle of the uh, the post to the truss and that's what we're using for our constant angle to draw our cut line on top. And the way they have these sheared, it's like spot on dead nuts perfect because they expect you to go to right from this high corner and that should be your cut point. So you better hope and pray that your math worked out. Or somebody's math worked out. Somebody's math worked out. <laughs> You have, there's no margin here. Nope. They didn't give us an extra quarter inch. <laughs> yeah, they have a little extra quarter inch, just, you know, for trimming, for kerf, quarter inch for kerf or anything. And the other thing we're doing after every cut is measuring the high side because that'll become the low side of the next sheet. So it'll help us with our layout on the next one. So that is it for today and for this week. Feels really good to uh, actually have a day finally that was actually productive. That's uh, definitely one of the biggest things about larger projects like this that uh, that I've been learning is it's the uh, the psychological thing you got to deal with of sometimes you get to a point where things just don't work and things are taking too long and there's complications and whatnot and you have to get over that mental thing of well that day is not going to go anywhere so this was not a, as productive as a week as we had hoped but it's <laughs> we got more done today than we have in the last like two or three days combined which is uh which is crazy here's the interior we got about two-thirds of the foam laid down it's starting to feel like an actual space now which is super duper exciting and uh yeah i'm excited this is it's it's finally starting to come together and feel like like something finally <laughs> so next week uh on monday we are going to be starting on the roof because uh we got to get that up there our plumber mike is going to be coming by to start installing the pecs in here for the in-floor heat and uh the floor pour is scheduled for a week from Monday. So that'll be happening too soon. 
So lots of things still to go, but I'm, I'm looking forward to like our part of the building construction stuff being uh, all done. And it's starting to feel even more like a barn and less like a thing. West thing, more barn <laughs> or, or something like that. So thank you for coming along in the last few days with this uh, emotional roller coaster with me. It's been, uh, it's been fine. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the barn thing, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.